A last farewell to Ali Bulut, a 31-year-old coal miner who lost his life in an explosion in Amasra, northern Turkey. He was preparing to celebrate his daughter's first birthday next month. Ali's father believes the tragedy was negligence, but his wife considers it murder. It's not an accident, it's a murder. They shouldn't cover it. There's been a lot of gas inside for a week. For 17 hours, he was left gasping for air. Ali started working in the coal mine in 2019 with two of his best friends from the same village, both of whom are now also deceased. They'd been telling us that there was too much gas inside. Has no one paid attention? When I arrived there, they were removing my brothers and friends' bodies. We couldn't do anything. <laughs> The government, led by five public prosecutors, has been charged with revealing the explosion's true cause. Mining and quarrying have the highest number of occupational accidents in Turkey, which leads the world in the number of victims. Since 1983, at least 900 miners have died in accidents. The deadliest one took place in 2014, with 301 killed. Bayram survived the Friday's blast, but he's buried dozens of his friends in just two days. I don't want to blame anyone. If there is negligence, it's the prosecution to figure out. We don't have an official statement on the cause, but it is not a good record for us. Nonetheless, Ali and his two best friends were buried next to each other, forever tying their friendship together. Coal mining is one of the most difficult jobs in the world and workers face serious health risks, particularly cancer. Miners say they don't want to end up here in a cemetery because of negligence and the lack of safety. Sinam Kösoğlu, Al Jazeera, Amasra, Northern Turkey.